Oh, so it's the Abstract Zodiac, and yeah, you guys can just call me Chris, Drake, Chris Drake, Drake, Drakester, Zodiac. Awesome, cool guy that you know, I don't care, anything works for me. But, um, there is several things that I want to get in, talk about in this video, and I will start by saying that I am going to start a new series called the worst Call of Duty, uh, the worst Call of Duty player ever, because as you can see in this video, I am a horrible Call of Duty player. Uh, I'm, I'm much better at Battlefield, and I will be posting Battlefield gameplay now that I got a, a capture card. But I am a horrible Call of Duty player. Horrible, horrible, horrible. And yeah, so. Hopefully I get some subscribers for that and they can make fun of me for being so horrible and I will appreciate their humiliations, but um, The next thing I want to talk about is Greedy YouTube commentators. I'm not going to mention names But the big name commentators that are out there. They are very Greedy it seems like if murder was legal I can guarantee that they'll be trying to slit each other's throat for the top the top spot in, in the gaming community as they call it. But uh is it it's a horrible thing that that people may that they they'll be overcome by greed like that, you know? It's like what they they say they're not in it for the money, but yet they just beg and beg for favorites and likes and favorites and likes favorites and likes I mean it just I don't get it and honestly I think it's ruining the whole gaming community you know by doing that because everybody you know everybody who makes gameplay commentaries all of a sudden wants to become rich and famous on YouTube now don't get me wrong it's all fine if you want to become famous but don't do it just because you want to be famous and you want to do it for money. Do it because you enjoy making the videos and you enjoy interacting with your subscribers. Because that's what it's all about. It's not about money. It's not about, oh, I'm going to have all my subscribers favorite and like this video in hopes that I become a friggin' $300,000 or uh, $3,000 richer today. No, it's not about that. It's about interacting with your fans or subscribers. That's what it's about. And people have lost sight of that. They have lost sight in interacting with their fans. And it's a shame because... I mean, if I had that many fans, I wouldn't be ignoring them. I would not be ignoring them at all. I would be responding to mass quantity or mass quality or quantities of them I had it right the first time I don't know why I want to correct myself but I would be I would I would spend all the free time that I have trying to respond to them because if they took the time to, to subscribe and comment I should at least show them the respect and try to reply back to them and you know I should I should give them that respect you know, like, hey, you took the time to do it. I'll take the time to get back to you. Now, I know that you can't reply to everybody. But at least make an attempt to reply to more than one or two. But. Anyways. Um, I'm pretty much done on that topic. The next thing is, this is a Rock Shield game capture footage. I captured it. Um using a the avi setting which is probably the best that you can get the best quality and i highly recommend this product this is a good product i don't care what people say about the quality i'm not a quality whore i honestly do not care about quality you can record with a friggin phone from the 80s and i'll still enjoy it if it's entertaining enough you know i know i'm not entertaining 
and I have a horrid voice, and it's probably making you want to stab your guys' ears out. But you know, I'm just trying to trying to have fun. You know, I want to I want to do some commentating here, but I'm getting off subject. Rock Shield Game Capture. Um, it has limitations. It can only record in standard definition, but I don't care. I mean, you can you can uh, try to say, oh, the hapage or hapog, however you say it, is so much better. It pones news all day. Rat 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 rat. Herpa derpa derp. I don't care. If I get a hapage or hapog PBR. I'll use it, but I'm not going to go out of my way to spend $200 on it. I mean, I can I barely afforded this, and it was $50. I got a I got the machinima discount, and then I got 15% off, and I could have barely I barely afforded this. I mean, it, it's not like everyone's made of money, and and if somebody is trying, at least you should at least give them some some form of credit, you know. Like, They'll be like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm not going to subscribe because you got standard definition. I want H3. Hold on. I wouldn't. That's just, no. No. But to anybody who sees this because uh, I'm putting in the tags Rock Shield Game Capture card and all of that. To anybody who watches this, I highly recommend it. If you're still watching, I highly recommend a Rock Shield. If you want a standard definition device, it is the best one on the market. It's better than the Dazzle, it's better than the Easy Cap, it's better than the only other standard definitions out there. Um, as you can see, that I mean, the footage is not great, but it's better. It's better than the Easy Cap and all that. And I recommend it if you're thinking about buying it. I, the, I haven't had no problems with it. You can record, you can watch in HD. Um, I will say this, I haven't heard anybody else say it in reviews. When you're using it through your TV, when, when you're viewing it through your TV, it does make your TV go a little bit darker and you don't get the full HD effect. It does look a little bit pixelated, but not too bad. It, it, it would, I mean, if you use it all the time, uh, I got the easy cab yesterday and I pretty much played for about, I don't know, about four hours. I got used to it right away. But, you know, that might be a burden for some people because they may not get used to it. That is the only grip I have. They cannot output it uh, in, in, in a, in a um, easy on the eye settings. But it is manageable for me. Um... I wish I could show it, but I can't record in HD, so you it will look messed up either way. So, um, I recommend, um, I don't know how you would do that, but it, it, you take my word, if you do not like things that look a tiny bit pixelated and a little bit weird looking, then you will not like the output that the Rock Shield gives. I... I overcame it. I got used to it. It's fine for me. Um, yeah, so. Um, another thing, i seen a couple of videos of people being banned for doing the whole uh, profile glitch for uh, for uh, the non JTAG profile glitch. And I was one of them. I got, I got in the band wave and I got banned on my, my account. Zodiac Drake got banned. I was a little upset. That I got caught, but it wasn't because oh, I hate Microsoft. They're they're freaking greedy. They're a greedy company. What do you expect for getting for taking it all, all those things illegally? It says it in the code of conduct not to do it. And if you're caught, you will be uh, action will be taken against you and your account. I got banned. I'm dealing with it. I'm just happy they didn't ban my console. So if you're one of those people that like got banned, I would not be upset. You got caught doing something illegal. I got caught doing something illegal. Just get over it. Don't be making a big deal out of it. So uh, really quick right now, um, the reason why I'm getting into commentating, um, a few people, um, Cobgers, the Jupiter Selfish, Jay Coleman, 
uh, Mr. Orman Vortex, uh, the Syndicate Project, you know, I mean, these people are just all that great at commentating, and it seems fun, so, you know, I decided to do it, so that's the end of the video. Comment, rate, subscribe, you know, I will reply, thanks for watching.